Number 27, the addition of 3.15 grams of BaOH2-8H2O to a solution of 1.52 grams of NH4-SCN in 100 grams of water in a calorimeter caused the temperature to fall by 3.1 degrees Celsius. Assuming the specific heat of the solution and the products are 4.20 joules per gram degree Celsius, calculate the approximate amount of heat absorbed by the reaction, which can be represented by the following equation. And then they give us this little equation here. So, looks like we're doing solution calorimetry here. We're adding a lot of different uh, components together, right? We're adding this barium hydroxide octahydrate compound here. We're adding the NH4SCN, and it's all going in water, right? So we're dealing with the solution. I also know that we're dealing with the solution because they told us that the specific heat of the solution is 4.20 uh, joules per gram degree Celsius. And they're just asking for the amount of heat that's you know absorbed for the reaction. Now, for all of you that have been with me throughout this whole journey, right? Chances are you're probably going to say that I'm going to write this equation over again, but ha, not today. <laughs> not today. We don't even care about this, okay? The thing that we care about is the formula Q equals MS delta T. Maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller here. So solution calorimetry and dealing with solutions and finding out heats are just Q equals MS delta T, okay? Now we want to find out this Q, which means that we should know the mass, the specific heat, and the change in the temp. So let's start with the mass. Now the mass of the solution is literally all the solutions added together. You had three different weights here, right? We had 3.15 grams of this barium hydroxide octa octahydrate. We had 1.52 grams of this NH4SCN and then the 100 grams of the water. So the overall mass would be the 3.15 grams plus the 1.52 grams plus the 100 grams. So let's first just see what that number is. 3.15 plus 1.52 plus 100. So that was pretty simple. So my M value would be 104.67 light FM. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh yeah, grams. Next is the specific heat. They told us that the specific heat of the solution was 4.20. So they gave us that information, 4.20 joules per gram degree Celsius. And then the delta T, now they said that this caused the temperature to fall or drop by 3.10, uh, 3.1 degrees Celsius. They did not give me a starting temp or a final temp. All they told me was the change. It fell by 3.1 degrees Celsius. So this 3.1 is the delta T. Now the question is, is it positive or negative? When you're dropping in temperature, your delta T will be a negative value. So that was a catch. So it should be negative 3.1 degrees Celsius. Now we have everything, so let's find out the Q of the solution. So the Q would be 104.67 times 4.20 times negative 3.1. And now let's see what we get. 104.67 times 4.20 times negative 3.1. And probably two sig figs. I see that I have two sig figs, that's the smallest. So it would be like negative 1.4. And then I'll just put this in scientific notation times 10 to the one, two, three, third uh, joules. Now they didn't say specifically if we wanted this in joules or kilojoules, but if you wanted this number in kilojoules, from joules to kilojoules, all you have to do is just divide by 1,000. So take this number, divide by 1,000, we will now get negative 1.4, and this I think is easier to, to work with. 
Now, when you're doing solution calorimetry or dealing with how much the solution is making the heat or losing the heat, I'm just going to label this as Q of the solution is negative 1.4 kilojoules. But the question is always going to ask about what's going on with their reaction, not the solution. But remember, heat is not created nor destroyed, just transferred. So whatever the heat that, you know, what was going on with the solution is always the negative of the Q of the reaction. So all you got to do is just flip the sign. So in this, ca in this case, you know, the outside solution is losing 1.4 kilojoules of heat. The negative represents losing. So the reaction, the Q reaction would be a positive 1.4 kilojoules. Technically you don't have to write the positive, but 1.4 kilojoules. So this means that the reaction is actually absorbing the heat. So the solution is giving the heat off to the reaction. And that's basically the answer to the question. They said calculate the approximate amount of heat absorbed by the reaction. Kind of makes sense, right? This is positive. Positive means absorbed. So we did it correctly. And it's going to absorb 1.4 kilojoules of heat. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to. Um, that will just help us out tremendously. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, let's keep working hard. All right. And I'll see you guys all in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.